Welcome to Outdoor Travel Channel. Are you guys hungry? Well, it's Traeger Day, so let's get to cooking, everyone. Hello, my friends, and guess what day it is? It's Traeger Day. And what are we doing? Well, it's just about Christmas, and I'm going to make a treat for the family. I'm making pork belly candy. Yep, and uh, I just fired up the grill, so it's just starting out and getting a little smoky old thin out. Uh, what I did is I went to um, Costco and I bought pork bellies that are already kind of cut. So they're only about a little more than a quarter inch. And so uh, what I'm going to show you is I uh, went ahead and cut them into about an inch and a half. And uh, I got to watch my times a little bit. So what I'm going to do is um, put them in trays that I, I want to smoke these a little bit. So I'm going to smoke them for about an hour before I get into the cooking method here. So I'm going to show you what I got. So today we're using holy cow. And uh, even though it's pork. <laughs> holy cow is just good stuff. And what I did is I took these little pieces and already just smothered them in rub. And I got two trays I'm doing. Doing this one and this one. And the reason I have them set up the way I do is I want them to, s to smoke. I want to get smoke flavor into them. Once we get them s smoked up, and I'm just doing the smoking setting on my Traeger, which will be around 120 degrees, and do that for about an hour. Once that's done, then we're going to start cooking. And I'll be cooking at 250 degrees. And we'll take it from there. So here we go. What I'm trying to accomplish is I bought these new racks that uh, allow me to smoke things. Uh, some people use cookie sheets or maybe just put a rack in there because uh, they're small pieces and I don't want them to fall through. Anyway, what we're going to do now is get them smoky and also some of my rub will start moving around. And I will kind of move these around a little bit because I did pack them kind of tight. So here we go. So the trick with the pork bellies is to get the, the really fatty, 50% or more. Uh, and so rendering them down is and uh, slow cooking them will make them uh, <laughs> melt in your mouth when we're done. So the process, just to give you an early uh, idea what I'm doing is smoking first. Then we're going up to 250 degrees and we're going to start cooking them in brown sugar and honey and uh, butter and uh, we're going to use trays for that so we want them to cook down render out that fat get them all yummy and stuff and then our very last process is going to barbecue sauce cover them a little bit with uh, my uh, favorite honey I like to use honey barbecue sauce and we're going to glaze them and turn them into candy yum and when we're doing the glazing part, we really only have to do it for about 20 minutes at the most. And uh, just depends on how well I can get them spread out and, and uh, uh, carameled. So here we go. All right, one more thing I got to add to what I'm doing is I'm using hickory pellets today. And uh, I like hickory. Hickory is good on everything. But yeah, hickory pellets. It's been an hour now that we've been smoking these. I thought we'd take a little peek here and see what we got. And... They uh, really shouldn't be cooked much. I just wanted to get smoky goodness into them. So what we're going to do now is pull these out and put them into a tray and add some ingredients. Next we're going to take these out of the basket, put them into the trays, and we're going to add honey. And this is raw honey. And we're going to add brown sugar and a cube of butter to each one but we're going to cut up the butter now that i have these in the tray the next thing we're going to do is add some brown sugar
Now that we have our brown sugar on, we're going to add honey now and just do the measurements to how you'd like it to be. Uh, we're trying to make these kind of candy-ish and uh, kind of sweet. So lots of brown sugar and what we're trying to accomplish here is a nice rendering down of our uh, pork bellies here and adding some flavor that will just knock your socks off. So let's add our honey. And the last thing we're going to add is butter, a cube of butter to each one of these. And then we're going to cover it with tin foil and put the temperature of the trigger to 250 degrees and cook about two hours, but we're going to check on them. And uh, then there's more after that. been almost two hours that this has been cooking and so what I want to do is a temperature check. Okay, so the temperature is right where I want it to be. That it's at 200, 201, around in that area. Uh, that's awesome. So what we're going to do now is pull these off and put, put them into another pan, take them out of the sauce that they're cooking in, which is all fat and, and, and stuff. And, and so and then we're going to add some more ingredients to put a glaze on these things. So uh, let's get started on that. Before I bring them in, I want to kind of get everything organized because we're going to be hot. So I'm going to put my hot cooked pork bellies here, take them out individually, and then we're going to work on creating a glaze for them. Alright, so for our next step, we're going to glaze these with barbecue sauce. And I'm going to use a honey barbecue sauce that I like to use. A little bit of orange um, apple juice. And this is kind of a berry jelly. We're kind of looking for an apple jelly. It kind of tastes like that. It was homemade for us. Anyway, it's really good stuff. And so we're going to add a little bit of that to it for flavor. If you want a little more zest to it, you could use pepper add uh, anything like Tabasco sauce, anything you might want, but we're going for sweetness. So, uh, and plus the people we're serving the food to aren't necessarily hot food kind of people. And this is for Christmas. So, what we're going to do is blend all that into a bowl, and then we're going to cover all these thoroughly and then put them back into the Traeger. I should just use this whole thing. So we have this all blended and what I'm going to do is brush it on first, then pour the rest on and then mix it. I just want to make sure I get it covered on everything. And it's important that you cover the entire 
pork belly so you get and so you get a glaze on it and be nice like candy. My last step is here is I'm ready to put these into the uh, trigger and what I'm doing now is trying to glaze them and uh, so I'm going to uh, have my temperature at 250. I'm going to go for about 15-20 minutes. I'm going to kind of watch them. I'm trying to get a glaze on them and after that they're done. So uh, uh, here we go. So at this point, this is where you just kind of uh, watch them, see if you get the glaze that you want. They're definitely cooked. They're over 200 degrees. And uh, then you're done, and you can use toothpicks to eat them with. Um, I'm going to probably pull them out of that tray, combine them all into one tray, and then I have something to, to take to, uh, uh, to our daughters for Christmas. Uh, the last thing I wanted to make sure you do is make sure you keep the lid off. This is the time you want them to dry out trying to get a glaze we're not trying to keep the heat in and uh, that's why we want to watch them by eye but I'm thinking 15 20 minutes but if it's different I'll let you know well guess what people we're done let's take a look look good or what all right we're gonna pull those out put them in one more separate tray I don't want them sitting in the, the fat and uh, we're done and we'll do a taste test. Well these look kind of caramely and so they should be kind of sticky and they uh, look that way. And we're going to put them all in one container here and uh, yep they're definitely sticky and that's what they're supposed to be like candy so they'll start glazing over here and uh, we'll have to do a taste test. Alrighty, so we're all finished up here and I've got my taste tester here, Sherry. And uh, she's not big in this stuff, so she likes it and that, that's big news. So I got two pieces here picked out. I got her a little loader piece here, right there. You ready to try it? Mm -hmm. Alright, we're ready. Here we go. Alrighty. Looks good. Tastes a lot like baby back. Mm -hmm. So definitely sweet. No, they're not hot at all. Mm -hmm. um, nice and sweet. Definitely gooey. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You like them? Mm -hmm. And uh, when you go to serve these, just get a bunch of toothpicks. Uh, we got to warm them up tomorrow. So we're going to try to warm them up a little bit in the morning and then take them to where we're going for Christmas and hope the family enjoys them as a snack all day. So there you go guys. <laughs> Pork belly candy. Yum. Well I hope you enjoyed making pork belly candy with us on the Traeger Grill. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. Have a great 2019 people.